Hey guys, I wanted to give you a first look at this jelly bean on the Asus Transformer Prime. That's me in the background. We're going to turn it on real quick. You notice the charge up screen, you see that unlock pad there. Normally I would have it locked up so that you wouldn't see that. You'd have to enter your code. But for this, to make it easy, I'm going to lock it or make it unlock. So we just slide to unlock and you'll notice that there isn't much change on the front screen although I did notice and I've installed this backdrop here that's uh, actually kind of cool now there you'll see that the pop-up one of the things I wanted to point out that's different is this notifications bar down here you'll see that the, the emails there show up in a different way um, as well as there's a broad aspect there course we can always clear that out by pressing the X down there so this backdrop here is pretty standard it's a sliding rotating uh, group of pictures I think there's about five of them in there all the apps seem to work fine I've got my social media apps there some lawyer specific apps my media apps games documents and uh, creativity um, I just downloaded and installed the pro version of Sketchbook, so we'll add that. You notice I can just point to click and we can drop it there. Um, I've got my calendar, the Play Store, and Gmail all stay pretty much the same. I'm going to click here on the settings, bring up the settings bar. You notice the settings are pretty much the same, except there is this addition right here this accounts area that um, adds to the the aspect and so you can add accounts easily right there and there's a shot of the firmware android 4.1 running on my tf 700t tablet and all the other aspects we press the home key it's going to bring us back and you see the rotating backdrop right there I've got Chrome installed now Jelly Bean does take away the uh, flash for Chrome or for anything else and so we can click on here you notice how it's set up but I'll click 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 quickly on this Google News link and bring up Google News. For me it's running just about the same speed as it was before. Um, a little smoother on the scroll I've noticed. Uh, same aspect of, you notice it's still loading right there. Same site speed and everything like that. I know there's probably faster browsers out there. In fact a lot of people report that the basic browser is running very smoothly and seems to pick up the pace. I'll click OK. And it's going to bring up the ASUS site. I've actually never opened the built-in. And the ASUS site ran pretty fast. Let's go to Google dot com slash news and just to compare wow that is fast so the home browser custom browser actually runs really really fast on jelly bean uh, one of the reasons I ditched in favor of chrome was because of the speed of chrome but golly that's fast you know, the scrolling is pretty dang smooth on here, as well as it seems to have picked up a little bit of the touchpad sensitivity. So I can draw circles, draw a diamond, and write my plaintiff. So that's a little smoother than before as well as if we delete apps and close them 
that seems to run a little more smoothly other than that I haven't really noticed any big changes nor have I seen any uh, although that's new that my bit cast I'm not sure what that is oh, it seems like some sort of uh, Evernote replacement and that's new one thing I did want to show you is this and you'll notice this is when an app was designed for a smaller screen a zoom control will appear by the clock so that's going to be that little thing right there we can stretch to fill so that's a pretty cool addition let me just go home that's okay but other than that haven't particularly noticed anything uh, unusual or deeply sensitive or uh, mysterious things like that again it's pretty fairly smooth we're going to see an update here so we can clear those out let's test gmail I was having some problems with gmail a little while ago gmail seems to run smoothly but all in all I like it um, one thing I did notice is Netflix is slightly faster now a lot of it's going to depend on speed but also the scrolling and you see all my kids columns seems to scroll a lot faster without a lot of the problems well that's it I hope you enjoyed that quick look